So I recently came across this very interesting email in my inbox. It said that I had made a sale on TeePublic. I was surprised because I created my TeePublic account years ago and only added nine designs. And what's even more surprising is that they were all public domain images in my designs. So why am I telling you this? As many of you know, I have uploaded a few videos on Redbubble. But last year, Redbubble announced that they were adding more fees to their platform, which made my profit significantly less. So I started looking into Redbubble a little more and if there were any other similar platforms that I could switch to. This is when I came across that TeePublic email. So I logged into my account and I noticed a few differences that made me want to switch to TeePublic instead of uploading more designs to Redbubble. What's interesting is that TeePublic is owned by Redbubble. So here are the reasons why I will be uploading to TeePublic instead of Redbubble from now on. Reason number one is to do with how you get paid. With Redbubble, you have to hit the minimum threshold if you want to receive your earnings every month. This is usually $20, but with TeePublic, if you set your payment method to PayPal, you will get paid your earnings every month with no minimum payout threshold. This is especially great if you are just getting started and don't have many sales yet. Reason number two is product pricing. As you know, Redbubble increased their fees last year. Since TeePublic is also owned by Redbubble now, TeePublic have also introduced a fee system. They are two main tiers. The Apprentice tier is for accounts where TeePublic detects that an artist has been spamming their uploads or using repeated designs from vector packs or clip art. This means you will earn $3 for the sale of full price products and $1 for discounted products. The Artisan tier is for artists who design unique products most likely to interest their customers browsing the TeePublic marketplace. These sellers will still earn $4 for full price products and $2 for discounted products. What I like about this is that the product prices can't be changed, so it's more transparent and consistent with pricing structure for both creators and customers. Reason number three is demographics. TeePublic's target consumer market is primarily Gen Y, who are 26 to 40, compared to Redbubble's target market of Gen Z households. So this would be 12 to 25 year olds and their parents. The reason I put this down as an advantage is because I have not yet explored the Gen Y demographic. When doing research on TeePublic, I also found out that there is a way to link your Redbubble account products to TeePublic automatically, instead of manually adding each one separately. However, it's not a feature that everyone can access right now. To me, I feel like the pandemic was Redbubble's peak time, but now TeePublic could be taking over. I don't know. Let me know in the comments what you think about this. So these were all the reasons I could think of that may interest you in switching to TeePublic or having both accounts. If you want to sign up to TeePublic, I'll leave a link in the description. As always, make sure to like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe to my channel for more print-on-demand content.